my silicon we sort of um, two main divisions. There's a commercial di- division that's around sales and customer service, etc. And then there is the operations division, which runs the networks, the infrastructure, um, the, the delivery of services to customers, and then re- operating all of that stuff. I know this is still quite a new role for you at the moment, yes. but what are what are your priorities for, say, the next six months or so? Um, I think the, our priorities are, in in some ways, quite boring. That they are the same things that have been for a while, which is customer, customer, and customer. Right. So uh, we want to make sure that we are delivering to the needs of our customers, um, very clear in understanding what they are and how best to serve them and um, deliver to what we set expectations to. You yourself come with quite a um, quite a background in telecoms. Can you tell us a little bit about your, your previous roles? Sure. Um, so um, um, all my life I've been in telecoms, um, and uh, uh, the last five, six years I was in the Middle East uh, running um, a, a, and the business part of uh, telco organizations. And previously to that, I uh, was based in the UK, uh, but uh, covering areas like Africa, uh, Central Europe, Eastern Europe, etc. One of the things you've mentioned in mm. your um, the statement announcing your appointment mm. um, is the, the Clear Sound that was mm-hmm. launched last year. How important is technology like that? Um, clear sound is hugely, hugely important, not just to the island, but globally. So, you know, if you notice, um, look at how we interact with computers and systems, that's very much moving towards voice rather than keyboard, etc. So, you know, every house almost has an Alexa now or a Siri now. Perhaps I shouldn't say this on radio because there are quite a few devices going off. But that's how we, you know, we do interact with the digital world. Um and it's really important that we enable the full participation of everybody in that digital um, technology and digital society. And clear sound is just the, one of the key components of enabling that. And I think it's a huge potential and there's so, so much more we are going to be doing with that. And will there be um, maybe similar world first products to come in the future? Um, we certainly hope so. Um, you know, having started this, that's definitely a clear strategy we are um, progressing down and we will keep working on looking at those sort of products and services. Yeah. The Isle of Man does market itself as a, an offshore business centre. How important is it that um, telecoms providers are providing world leading technology? Um the way businesses are going and have been going for a while is that you know they are very much global even if it's a local business it's it's participating in um, a global business so you know you could be a simple person who's running uh, um you know uh, who's got a plumber or etc but you know they're using an invoicing a system that's based in the cloud they're using payment systems that are electronic so Telecommunications is the key component of enabling that, um, and it you know having the right um, telecommunications infrastructure and service is absolutely critical to making sure the island is not only ready for business but you know uh, continues to operate in the way that it has been attractive for businesses.